In this short video lecture, I'm going to introduce the four main principles of perceptual control theory, a framework for psychology and behaviour developed by Bill Powers uh, in 1960 and then various publications since then. And I'm going to cover the four main principles, control, hierarchies, conflict and reorganisation. At the heart of the theory is its way of defining control. PCT sees control as fundamental to living things and it defines control as control of input or control of perception via a negative feedback process. And this is seen as a fundamental feature of the nervous system, um, pri primary um, to learning, for example, preceding learning. The, uh, in PCT, the structure of a negative feedback loop is very carefully described uh, and resembles some other negative feedback loops and is uh, derived from control engineering um, but is, has, has various details in terms of how it's um, implemented. A single control unit can only control one variable um, and so there need to be ways of organising these units so that they can control more complex uh, experiences and perceptions um, and can be more flexible. And this is achieved by a hierarchy of control systems. Um, in this hierarchy, the higher levels um, set the references, set the goals for the lower levels. So higher levels don't uh, trigger behaviour, but they delegate um, their control to the next level down, uh, setting its goals, which in turn sets the goals of the level below, etc. And it's only at the bottom level where intensities are controlled that the loop is closed um, and uh, through interaction with the environment, uh, perceptions controlled. The hierarchies also allow the um, individual to this uh, process whereby imagination and looping around this hierarchy at a higher level is achieved, um, which is described in further detail in the 1973 book. Conflict is another principle that is um, described in, in early work and other areas of psychology. Um, in PCT, again, it has a very distinct meaning. It is when two or more control systems have different reference values for the same variable. This means that they have opposing goals for a certain experience. Um, this is, in PCT, the, the cause of conflict, and in turn, Conflict, conflict causes loss of control. There are other causes of loss of control too, but conflict is seen as one of the major reasons um, of loss of control. And finally, the fourth principle, reorganisation. This is the learning mechanism within PCT, and it's a process through which control is regained when it's lost and error is reduced. Um, this is a, an intrinsic, inbuilt process and it operates through trial and error changes or uh, randomly occurring changes in the properties of control systems. So it doesn't change specific behaviours but it changes the kinds of properties through which the control systems work like their delays and their gains uh, which you can read about. Um, the other key thing about reorganisation in, a, in, a, in a, a rich hierarchy like we would propose in humans is that it, these changes seem to be localised to certain regions of this uh, rich system. And in, in the theory, it is proposed that that localised area of change and reorganisation is what we identify with as awareness. And so awareness and reorganisation are closely associated with one another. So in summary, Control is primary in PCT, a primary aspect of life. To live is to control. Control involves control of input, um, and outputs are used to control input. A hierarchy is required to manage control of any complex uh, experience um, and to be more flexible. There is a, a risk in any of, of uh, any hierarchy that um, levels uh, units on the same level would conflict with one another because they are. Um, they have uh, different standards, different internal standards for the same experience, technically known as reference values. And for this reason, um, and in order to, to enhance and optimise control as a whole, 
A learning process is necessary, this is called reorganisation, and it involves trial and error changes in the properties of, of the control units. Um, later we'll be talking about how understanding these four principles then helps us to look at um, ways of applying the theory, ways of testing it, um, and um, ways of uh, providing interventions that help people to regain control when they're experiencing loss of control. Thank you.